Hello and welcome back to Jules Matos. In our session today, we're looking at the definition of what is the term. So let's get started. When looking at an equation, you must remember that your term can be the constant, the variable, or the coefficient. These are all the parts which make up an expression or an equation. And remember that when looking at your terms, remember that the constant is the number by itself. Our variable is always our unknown letter in our equation. And our coefficient is the number which is being multiplied to our variable. All of these different parts are what we call our terms and these terms are the part which make up your expression and your equations. When looking at your terms, it's important to remember that your term is divided into parts. We have what we call the base. Our term sometimes has a coefficient or it can be a constant by itself or it can even be a variable by itself. And then in some terms, we also have what we call our exponent. So our terms are made up of a variety of parts which consist of our base, our coefficient, variable, and in some cases, an exponent. But these are the major parts of our terms. So in our equations and expressions that we're going to look at below, let's see if you can identify your terms. If you guess that your term was 7p and 1, you are correct. What about in this one? What are our terms? So if you guess that your term is d, negative 2, I know it's considered a minus sign, but remember that when we write that constant, we also take the sign with it, so it's going to be considered a negative 2 and 8. And in this last one, our terms are 5m, negative 2c, and 13. These are all the parts which make up your equations and your expression. Okay, so let's review before we close out. Remember that our terms consist of our constant, our coefficient, and a variable. And all of these different parts, whether they are together like our coefficient and variable, or on their own like our constant, and our variables, remember that each of these terms are what make up our equations and our expression. Okay, so I hope this video is very helpful to you. I hope it helped you to be able to identify the terms of your equation. And when you're ready, I'll be right here in the next video. So make sure you return back to Jules Math Tools where we make math easy.